Tottenham Hotspur Sun Young Minute Star Turn sums up Tottenham's Wembley Comfort Spurs have grown into their temporary home and as rivals stumble. Mauricio Pochettino's side showed against Everton they are looking like their old self son. Young Min celebrates his goal for Tottenham against Everton in front of an exultant Wembley crowd. Photograph. John Walton, P.A. It may not go down as a season-defining moment but the turn executed by Sun Young Min 106 seconds after halftime. Leaving John Joe Kenny plodding through quicksand while Wembley gasped in admiration, held significance of its own. For one thing it led to the goal from Harry Kane that broke the resolve of Everton, who had looked competent at 1-0 down but disintegrated rapidly after the deficit doubled. For another it crystallized a feeling that has, after the awkwardness of early life at Wembley, grown over the past six weeks. Tottenham are at last, looking consistently like Tottenham again, Mauricio Pochettino was in no mood to disagree and must feel his side have turned a corner after that patchy period in the autumn when rousing European nights were offset by stodgy afternoons against Burnley, Swansea and West Bromwich Albion. Tottenham outclass uninspired Everton as Harry Kane reaches new milestone read more. Back then Pochettino would react wearily to suggestions that Spurs' temporary accommodation was doing them no favors, while not altogether dispelling them. Now, after watching his players score four goals or more for the third time in five home league games, he was more than willing to mark the change. You know very well the circumstances are different after we move to Wembley. He said, I'm so proud of them. Once Everton had been weakened, Tottenham went for the jugular. They spent the second half attacking in tithes, showing little appetite to slow up until Christian Eriksen had swept home their beautifully conceived fourth. Even then Sun could be seen chasing Mason Holgate into an ungainly tangle on the edge of Everton's six-yard box as the clock ticked down. It all evoked the best of the Pochettino era and their confidence has returned at a time when Others are more given to introspection. While Arsenal fret about Alexis Sanchez, Liverpool look to salve the open wound of Philippe Coutinho's departure and the managers of Manchester United and Chelsea trade insults before the media. Tottenham's worries are reducing. The festive period's churn left them relatively unscathed and now unencumbered by any serious suggestions that big names will leave this month. They exude a stability not evident in all their rivals for a top-four spot. Facebook Twitter Pinterest Serge Aurier drives past Jaffe Sigurdsson during another impressive display by the Spurs right back. Photograph. Alex James, JMP, Rex, Shuttershock. Maybe it's boring for you to hear the same thing. But Tottenham can't compare to other teams like Liverpool, Arsenal or Chelsea. Pochettino said. We are the opposite. We are doing our job. They have their strategy and we have our strategy. All that happens in other clubs will not affect us. It's so important to focus on what we need to achieve and how to improve. One of those improvements has come in the form of Sun, who has been important to their tempo for some time and now operates as incisively as anyone in his position. He said afterwards that his partnership with Kane at whose feet records continue to fall. Works really good, and there were also signs that Del Alley, provider of a glorious backheel for Ericsson's goal, is playing his way out of a sticky spell. Then there is Ericsson, who had one of those games where nothing seems too much trouble and gave the impression not for the first time that Barcelona may have fixated on the wrong playmaker. Sam Allardyce feeling blue after horror show leaves Everton stuck in another rut, Sachin Nakrani. Read more. Pochettino was keener, though, to talk about the growth of his wider squad and expressed his happiness at the form of Serge Aurier, who created Sun's opener and has become an increasing influence. Aurier arrived from Paris Saint-Germain with some baggage but appears to have edged ahead of Kieran Trippier in the right-back pecking order.
There are a lot of bad things from his past in France. But he is a great guy and a great personality. Hugo Lloris said of Aurier after the 4-0 win. You can make mistakes as a person and learn a lot. Inside him is a fresh guy with good energy. Spurs radiate that freshness and energy just now. That spin and flick from Sun. Executed in one dizzying movement as he seized on Eric Deer's firm pass. Set the tone on Saturday but their collective shift in gear could not have been better timed.